mascot, better known as Pappy, uh, proud Radri man, and I drive a HT Monaro four-wheel drive. It's three cars into one. It's a GQ patrol base with an automatic. So the whole chassis and all underneath it, suspension, diffs, are all GQ. I actually bought off somebody who was using for a farm car because the, the original FJ45 chassis wasn't going to make the cut to what I want, where I wanted to go and what I want to do with it. He donated, he thought I was crazy. He thought if he ever sees it going, it'll be a good cause to go towards. Uh, then we decided to put a 5 litre in the front, an injected VN 5 litre in the front. It has a mild cam in it, like a torque cam in it at the moment. The motor came from a friend, he had a Tirana at the time, a neighbour, and I just, he had a motor, I needed a motor and he needed some old parts which I happened to have through the Monaros. Uh, so we swapped there a little bit. And then we had to try and convert the Monaro HT shell which I bought in 2001 for about 2.6 on top and a lot of people hated what I've done but people don't understand that it was actually when we started rubbing it back we found both sides have been t-boned in a big accident the front was a little bit crooked to start with so I looked at it a car that probably should have went to the wreck and be destroyed actually got a new life engineering was tough I'm trying to put a 1969 shell and make it look like an overlander. I want it to look like Holden made these things from factory. All the interiors redone back to the original. I even had to sacrilege a console. I've cut it down so the handbrake on the GQ would still fit without having any problems. I've got one of those new retro sound radios in it so it looks original. You don't realise how much work goes into these things until you're actually paying for it. Could you build something like this in a garage? You do see a lot of them built in the average garage. However, professionalism is what's gonna help the engineer and help you to make your dreams come true. That's the biggest thing. Late 1990s when I was part of the Monaro Club of Sydney back then now, it's the New South Wales Monaro Club. One of them was towing their car to a show with a old Land Cruiser. And I kind of made the funny comment, gee, wouldn't it be funny if I built a four-wheel drive Monaro to tow that to and from the show. And I had a HK186S back then, an original, beautiful car. Probably should never have sold that one. Should have kept that one too. But I sort of thought, no, I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to build this Monaro full drive. It's going to tow my other Monaro to from the show. And that's where the concept started. And the more people that said, oh, you can't do this, the more I wanted to do it. Everyone should have their own unique machine. Everyone should build what they want, not what other people want them to build. It's their car, their money. It's their hobby. It's their love and their passion. I don't think anybody will be seeing some of these ever on the road. It's the only one in the world. It is a one-off. Everyone thought I was nuts, it can't be done. Well, that's uh, something you don't tell me. I, I find a way out to do it.